Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today we're tackling the question I get asked a lot by clients or friends. Is my lactate threshold the same as my FTP? You can measure these for cycling and for running. I think in cycling, it's even more common to use these terms. So if you have had the same question, tag along. Let's go. Before we begin, I have just one question to ask, and this is if you can smash that like button. I try to add as much value in each video as possible by sharing whatever information I either have looked up or I know from experience, and I hold nothing back. So if you appreciate this, then just drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. This helps to bring this video out to more people. Okay, first and foremost, your lactate threshold and your FTP are not the same thing. Oof, it feels so much better to get this off my chest. But anyway, if we want to know if there are some similarities, we also need to know what it is. Your lactate threshold is usually determined by a laboratory test where you measure your lactate levels. And at some point, those lactate levels will start to increase exponentially. And at this point, you have reached your threshold. Therefore, that point at this speed or this wattage, this is your lactate threshold. If you plot all your data onto a chart, then at some point you will see the chart or the line go up exponentially. And this is where you know you have reached your lactate threshold. So when you do a test, your lactate threshold is measured. But why is this so important? Your body uses lactate for energy. Hydrogen is produced as a byproduct. Hydrogen actually causes our pH in our blood to decrease and cause some acidic environment in the muscles or acidosis in the muscles. And this is what we feel when we get that burning sensation in the muscles. And it doesn't take a lot. It takes some small incremental changes to change your pH in your blood and also that acidic environment for those muscles. And this is an important point because when an athlete reaches that point, it's impossible to push any further. So they have to reduce their activity in order to carry on exercising. And this is an important point because if you stay just below the threshold, this is something an athlete can sustain for quite some time. So what is FTP? Your FTP or functional threshold power is a power an athlete can sustain for one hour. And FTP is often used to analyze your current fitness form. The good thing about an FTP test is you can repeat this yourself very easily. It often costs no money to do this. Just run for an hour straight and go as hard as you can for that hour or make it a little bit easier on yourself and use a test that gets you to do a 20 minute effort. There you can extrapolate your FTP from. Now how did FTP and lactate threshold became so confusing that it is often referred to as the same thing when they are measuring different things? Well, it's often seen that your FTP and your lactate threshold will correlate since doing an activity just below your lactate threshold or doing an FTP test will correlate with the same intensity. However, your FTP is not the same as your lactate threshold and vice versa, your lactate threshold is not the same as your FTP. And you're wondering what is the best thing to measure? Well, it kind of depends. If you have a little bit more money to spend, you can do a lab test where you get your fat threshold and your lactate threshold measured. And you'll also get matching heart rates for these thresholds or power output in wattages. This you can then use to implement in your training program. And this will give you a whole set of data to work with. Your FTP basically measures only one thing, the power you can output for one hour. But since this test is very easily repeatable and free, this is often a very, very good way to measure your current fitness level and if you are improving or not. You don't always have to do an expensive lab test just to know if your fitness is improving at all. So there you have it, guys. You know exactly what the difference is between an FTP test and your lactate threshold. Tell me, have you done a lab test, FTP test? Did they correlate precisely or were there some differences between them? Let me know in the comments. I hope you are absolutely smashing your next workout. See you guys in the next one. Bye.